All right, so here's what I got to do. I've got to glue in these mounts here that will support the dinette table tracks and also the bed tracks. And so there's two key things with this. They have to be glued exactly in the right place, literally by the millimeter, and be perfectly parallel and straight down the center of the camper. And I mean perfect, like literally within a millimeter in every one of those dimensions. So the Howdy, howdy. Thank you for coming back to my channel and watching my video series. I'm building out an expedition camper and this is a DIY camper and we've got something complicated going on where I've got the supports to support not just the bed but the dining room table and they both slide along with some long drawers all along those same mounts so they have to be perfectly level, parallel in every way. This is going to be a challenge. Those dimensions. So the dinette table is already built. Its tracks and, ca and, and carriages are very precise. They do not have any play in them. They literally have to be this mounted within a millimeter or so of each other and perfectly parallel. And of course, I want that dining table to slide out right in the center of the bench or dinette here, dinette table here, area here. And then, of course, I want the bed to be able to slide easily back and forth, not have restriction on it or resistance, right, because the tracks are slightly not parallel. So it has to be mounted exactly perfect. So I got to get this mounted perfectly. That's all there is to it. So my trick is going to be draw a center line down the middle of this bed area, make sure it's exactly center line, measure my distance out that the dining table width is going to be, the half distance out for the edge of these tracks that are going to be mounted in here, and then put the dining table in here, make sure it's exactly right before I glue it all up, get that all laid out, and then glue them in there. The other thing, too, is these other tracks that you probably can't quite see, but they're also already in here, and they, might be, they may not be perfectly parallel with what I'm doing now because they were measured off the walls and who knows how they all put in. So I uh, I just realized that they may not be parallel with what I'm doing now. So I have to really kind of make it, may, may have to make some adjustments to get them all as parallel as they can be before I glue them in. It's going to be tricky to get these four tracks all perfectly parallel. I wish I thought a little more through that beforehand, but I need those four tracks to really support the weight and the cantilevered weight uh, uh, support for the bed and the dining table and everything else. So here we go. Let's hope this works out. Yeah, and my first step in this was, of course, to clean the surface of the bed platform as cleanly as I could with with alcohol, isopropylene alcohol, and get that really nicely cleaned up, also vacuumed up before, before and after I did the cleaning to make sure I removed all the dirt and any lint left over from the paper towels. Just get as clean as possible so I have as good of a gluing surface uh, for the adhesive sealant that's going to go on there. And then once I got that center line taped on and marked on exactly where that center line is, I did a series of measurements up and down that center line. This bed platform is about five and a half feet long. And so I had to go do a lot of measurements all the way up and down that thing to make sure that the side mounts were exactly both parallel and equidistance from that par from that center line that I drawn. So that was my method of doing it. Since I'd already built out my table a platform or or structure which you see here um, and that was also i did that in a previous video where i showed the building of that um, which looks a little funny and i'll explain why in a minute but when i go ahead and since i already had that built out and the slides already mounted and also the cartridges mounted to those which are mounted in reverse and i'll talk a little about that in a future video here but why uh since i had those already all mounted up and so i went ahead and used those as my guides to ensure that these other two tracks that were going along to it where these cartridges will actually mount to for the slide out dining table are exactly in the right position for those cartridges and i'll show in a future video how this actually worked out very well the hardest part really perhaps of this was not just getting everything exactly well laid out but also dealing with the cold temperatures that i was in the camper at this time between about 50 and 55 degrees and the aluminum extrusions and the adhesive sealant both were not really as soft and as pliable as i wanted them and so after i moved my tape and push these things down as hard as I could I and got everything perfectly level, I realized that the adhesive sealant didn't really squish out as nicely as it should have. And so I'm going to come back and I'll show this in a future video how I seal those back up and make those a little bit stronger. All right, so it actually came out pretty well and I actually kept my hands clean, didn't go through too many gloves, um, did unfortunately have to go through about a tube and a half. So and they get another leftover residual tube, which they don't last very long. But, uh, but here it is, the tracks are in. I got a little bit smart and I put this little small space heater in, electric space heater, to really help the adhesive sealant get a little more viscous so it could get softer and push down. I should have done it before because these aluminum pieces were sitting out here in the camper where it's about probably 55, 
55 to 60 degrees and really this adhesive really starts getting nice and soft at about 70 degrees so I should have put those the heater in here earlier and got this warmed up and the, the aluminum warmed up and that would have I think helped it flow a lot better but I've got these perfectly level I put my little lever meter on there digital level meter and you can see the camper is not perfectly level mm -hmm. it's off by about a tenth to two tenths of a degree uh, and these match that also there's a little bit of movement be and, and all the way down as I've done as well there's a tiny little bit of movement with me moving and the camper moving you can see the cord shaking but nonetheless those all match up uh, one and, and I think they're perfectly aligned I did use the dinette table with its slides and carriages already in there and, and they essentially these pressed up against are like they will be once they're fastened all in together so they should be parallel they should be right down the middle I've measured my measurements they're right down the middle I'm going to leave this middle center line tape up in case I need it for a couple other things one little challenge that I have is that I think they're perfectly level with the side mounts because I have four mounts for the the bed two here that we use for the dinette these other two here for some side drawers but I noticed that my level on these pieces here is not the same as these pieces here they're a little bit off level not something I checked when I did it I pressed them down as much as I could but again that adhesive seal probably wasn't as soft as viscous as it could have been so uh, they're a little bit off level a little slightly off camber but only by about a degree to two degrees that should be easily taken up that slot by the drawer slides or the mounts of uh, for the carriages and I don't think it's going to impede the bed at all frame because it'll probably bow a degree or two anyways or actually more than that so it should be perfectly fine to adapt to it so I don't think it's going to be an issue in any way but it bums me out a little bit it's not perfect I aim for perfection and that was something I should have checked I keep forgetting I bought this little digital uh, level meter which has been fantastic I wish I probably just owned only this one it's been so good because you can use it on vertical planes horizontal planes it's got a magnet so it attaches to things uh, you can use it on pipe and it works incredibly well so anyways I'm gonna let these go ahead and dry on up and then I'll come back in later on and work on that back bed cabinet and also these bench cabinets is a lot to do here so I'm gonna keep this moving all right Keep it moving. Lots to do. Let's get her done. <sighs> GoPro batteries. Horrible. Okay, back to the filming. Now they have some a new battery. It might last another three minutes.